Yes, and I welcome back. Let's see lots of the Good Morning Niger show on a day. And of course, we don't turn that for inside our first sit and talk segment. Where we be, so we won't look the U.S. drug allegation matter. And I make talk say they need to investigate any matter so far. But true, true, I make suppose investigate. I be they not supposed to investigate. Now, the matter where they ground be that, and now you will be saying we won't talk about. We'll get two Ogbonge guests, then we we'll go join us. But before I begin to introduce them, make we enter a small report. Make we we'll go put mouth inside this matter where we we'll, so that you go feel understand as it take be. Make we we'll take this report. When we we'll come back, we'll go show you the guests, and we'll be saying we we'll get inside the house and we'll go enter the matter proper, proper. Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, don't come out talk say them know they investigate the presidential candidate of the All Progressive Party, APC, will be Bola Ashiwaju Tunumbu. And them talk this one for one press statement when them release for Saturday, 12th November. Even though say election never starts, INEC don't talk say the general elections go hold for February 2023. And because of that, them talk say them no chook eye put for matter when no legit as he consigned to Numbu. Based on waiting local three people being come out talk say one court for Chicago be mentioned or got Numbu name for one drug case. I neck national commissioner wait they in charge for information and voters education committee. Barrister Festus Okoye talk say them day for discussion with United States authorities to get more information on top of the matter. My people, what do you think about this matter? Because 2023 no fire again no. Make sure say you vote wisely. Make we no go vote who go carry your school where we know no. Hey, they okay, so I don't see, you know, small touch lights on inside that matter, so that I'm not going to understand what TBC we won't talk about. But then, sometime in the year, investigative journalist David Wunde been gets, bring out this kind of report. Then, even recently, could even release small documentary concerning this same matter. They could just go take small snipers, as everybody call them, say small chicken session for inside that uh, report. Will they come back so that it will help you understand this matter more and more? Will they come back before we get our guests then? Yes. What do we eat? Cassava, uh, bado, uh, corn, uh, in the morning, uh, yam, in the afternoon. It's growing here. You create demand as consumption. On October 11, 1990, federal agents from the U.S. Drug Enforcement Administration knocked on the front door of 460 Taft Place in the city of Gary, Indiana. Once a booming steel town with a population approaching 180,000 in 1960, Gary was one of a number of cities and towns across the U.S. suffering from severe population loss, among other adverse effects of overseas competition on their mainstay industries. From having over 30,000 employees at its peak in 1970, the city's main employer, U.S. Steel Gary Works, retained just 6,000 employees in 1990. Under these circumstances, this city and its 77% African-American population were witnessing explosive growth in one of the only industries guaranteed to boom under such difficult circumstances. 42-year-old Lee Andrew Edwards was one of the entrepreneurs who had found a place in the heroin trafficking business. And by all accounts, he had done very well for himself. With the proceeds from his illegal business, he had bought two residential homes, including 460 Taft Place, an apartment building, a liquor store, and a new car, all paid for with cash. Now, according to court records from the United States Court of Appeals 7 Circuit, the DA agents arrived at the property to execute a search warrant after a seven-month FBI investigation involving Edwards' brother, Jimmy, had implicated him as the narcotics kingpin of Gary. Edwards did not open the door for the agents, who were forced to break into the house. He then fired three gunshots at them, after which he surrendered. DEA agents found weapons including a carbine rifle, thousands of dollars in cash, drug prepping equipment including a triple beam scale, and several grams of cocaine and heroin powder in the house. He was later sentenced to life in prison, but not before something about his business operation came to the fore. Federal investigators had determined that Edwards' heroin supply came from a Nigerian drug dealer in Chicago called Abiodun Agbele. Abiodun had earlier agreed to work for the feds in exchange for lighter sentencing, and as part of the plea deal, he revealed everything he knew about the heroin trade in Chicago. 
Located at the junction of four states with a combined population exceeding 27 million at the time, Chicago was a key trafficking hub in the American heroin trade. And as it turned out, the wholesale trade of an especially potent form of heroin from Southeast Asia in 1990s Chicago was controlled by Nigerian criminal gangs. The following excerpt is taken from the January 2001 Illinois Drug Threat Assessment published by the U.S. Justice Department's National Drug Intelligence Center. Nigerian criminal groups are responsible for wholesale distribution of most of the SEA. That report they very, very long. I wish it would be fit, you know, enter inside where the matter they gone gone, but that matter still they inside for inside that report. And it's online, so if you go watch them by yourself, because a very long documentary really detailed about this matter we'll be we we'll won't talk about. So inside the studio today, we get with us uh, Comrade Murphy Abadoni, him na APC person. Comrade, welcome. It's my pleasure. <laughs> I like the person. When I see a comrade na kaki at the expense, but I don't see kaki no wala. We're gonna move on. Yeah, it's well, a black well, and white comrade. We don't the wear suit now. Yeah, okay. <laughs> welcome. Come All right. Thank you. So, so we also get uh, David Hunde, will be the person who put up this documentary, and we've been bringing out the investigative journalism concerning this matter. He may join us from Zoom. David, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome. Yeah, good morning, David. Good morning. Nah, well, nah, well done. Thank you, David. Thank All right, so we could jump enter inside this matter straight. On. Uh, if you've been watching, I would like to delve inside because time no day again. If you've been watching the interview where BC, the top top person for inside APC, being put mad stop for inside the interview, uh, where be Festus Kiyamo, a talk say, um, person then fit swam in rem instead of in person according to law. And then, according to research, if you check the US law proper, proper, you go no, say true, true, then fit sue person property. You understand? As it take B. You go like react to that section of waiting in talk concerning this matter with the ground. Shapali. So first of the 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 right on top people ignorance. First uh, first of the expect say people not no go read the document. So now waiting in talk then we just take up for face value. Because the team we say yes it did possible for US say then go sue person property. Exactly. And person property could be like legal entity. Absolutely. But if you can't read waiting day for those documents, the documents they explicitly mention Bolatinugu name for inside there. Explicitly. And uh, if you if you can't read the documents for that, the documents that they explicitly mention say Bolatinugu, say if money with the inside your, in, in your account, na proceed of heroin trafficking. And that four hundred and sixty thousand dollars with the seize from her, say na proceeds. Of heroin trafficking, now money from drug, now money from drug sales. If you still read, waiting there inside the documents very carefully, you go see say, even the money where they later release out of that one point four million. Say, now, uh, now the money we in talk say belong to Kafaru Tinumbu, we be in, in in adoptive uncle and Habibat Mogaji we be in surrogate mother. Now that money will then release to those two people, but the money will be for them. They don't release one cobalt to them. Mm. So if you read, if you read waiting days at the document yourself, you know go get any doubt. And waiting people like Kiamu they do be say they know say most Nigerians, ninety nine percent of Nigerians, no fit sit down fifty one page document go they read that carefully, and then they expect say based on people laziness or based on people like. Uh, illiteracy or based on ignorance, based on just unwillingness to read anything they talk, people just gas take them like uh, that. Uh, all right, thank you, David. Oh. Um, so, so we get another guest for inside the house, and him, the APC person, so he go good making react to this same matter. So, Oga um, Murphy, um, according to the US laws, so don't state them so the fee super person property, and this person, the person name with the mention for the property continuously, Nabola and Chinobu, now in the mention. Now, if the fit sue you, according to waiting, um, Oga uh, Festus Kiyamu talks, say, now in property, then sue, say, no be in day involved for inside the matter. So, say they can't exonerate them as in sue, as in collect the taxes from in property. But according to the US law, if you feel say they sue your property illegally and in no day rights, it's supposed to be sue. It's supposed to be, it's supposed to be filed. Talk, say, mm -mm, this money won't I collect from my hand or this my property won't I collect. Won't I not fit to collect them because I did innocent of waiting on they accuse me of where we say that property in a proceeds of drug. So why you think say your oga no sue the US government? Why is they quiet allow them to carry in property go? Thank thank you very much. First of all, um I hear where you say Kiyamo say and your other guy say Kiyamo was simply 
stating the position of law. Mm. You, you understand? Lawyer, no, no. Uh -huh. like that, yes. So, mm. you know, some, you, we need to understand where somebody, they air in personal opinion, mm. and when somebody, they simply quote the law. Mm. Mm. When Kayamo say it is possible to sue person property, so many people from the layman's concept, it just doesn't make any sense. And at his place, this aspect, mm. I really want to clarify. So yeah, many, so, so many, so many positions possible. of the law, okay. not they usually make sense to a layman. Okay. And the, 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 the more you try to look out for the layman's perspective, the more they confuse you. Mm. That is why so many court judgments, you go see so many, many people look to court judgments, ah, they don't buy this judgment. How can this be? Let me give you the simplest uh, uh, example. For instance, the law say a criminal is presumed innocent until proven guilty. Mm -hmm. Meaning that even when you come to your house, catch me around the right right top of your purse, they collect your money. I want to tell your mama for village and my mama, say the law is not me thief until we go to court and the judge pronounce me a criminal. I hope you understand. These are some of the issue, uh, 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 problems when laymen, they get when they come. So what I'm trying to say is that Kiyama was simply speaking from the position of law. Action in rem means that the government, they sue a property. And that was what happened. Then, so why you not continue the case if you be sitting and accused and uh, say that's Yes, yes, before you even go that, I would like to say, why would you say the U.S. government, first of all, not go further? I mean, you think, say, U.S. government, with every, uh, uh, I mean, uh, after all their investigations and evidences, say, person commit certain crime, U.S. government will decide to take a portion of the procedure of your crime and leave the tax the jail terms. So we're talking about drug, drug offenses. Let's, let's be very factual. We're talking about drug offenses. One of the most, um, how do I put it, one of the crimes when the U.S. and other Western nations don't even want to hear about one of the crimes when they're not one year about nine, you they tell me say somebody commits such crime, US carry out investigation, had the other opportunity to prosecute, wow. jail, because what thing will stop US from jailing him and at the same time also seizing whatever properties that he has okay. in the US. You understand? So first of all, I will, I will ask ourselves why the US not go further than to just take a portion of what was in those accounts. It was those accounts that were actually sued. And I go I appeal to listeners or viewers rather to try to separate these two issues. You're talking about separation now. Separate these I would two like issues. to ask Mr. Unde one question because he put out a statement and part of the investigative work when you do detailed, very, very nice. And um, you talk about open challenge self with with Mr. First. First us. Now, if I go ask you a question, if Tinibu they accuse him of drug offenses and money laundry, it's possible to settle with forfeiture, which is like a civil proceeding, or was he indicted? Mr. Andre? So, na, 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 na six and a half a dozen arguments with that because waiting first of all, obviously talk we say oh there are no do criminal indictments but say there are no do criminal indictment nobody say he no do it because if you read the documents they talk and very plainly say this person they hold money for drug drink and they analyze the whole thing very carefully they say even the address where you use open the account now the same address where the drug dealer where in name now, Muiz Akonde, that house where in they use as, as heroin drop off points. Now, that same address, he used open the accounts that uh, he gets company where the Compass Finance and Investment Company, where uh, the, the other directors, Muiz Akonde and Abelja Agbele, the two drug dealers. Saying, why if you can get joint account with Muiz uh, with, uh, with Muiz Akonde wife, Aubrey? All these things they for the documents. Say uh in, in even in even uh, confess to the investigating agents, say on two different occasions, the money we're paying to that into that account. Now I can they get the money. 
And then later, income reverses himself. He can't deny, say, he do not know those people. All these things, they inside these documents. Mr. Ode, so, wait, so I would just like to pause it for them. Make I ask you one very simple question. Say, is there any known official press release or evidence of indictment on Tinibu by American government? I know you're waiting to talk to me. I say, any known official press release or evidence of indictment Continuable by American government. Anyone? Um, no such thing. Well, obviously, like, no big how such matters they exist with that. Like, the American government, no, they send out press release, say this person do this kind of thing, this person don't do it. Now, the court where they concern, you go go meet the court, you go pay the, the filing fee, and you go ask them. And now, what did me I do? Now, what did other journalists don't do? Now, how you will discover that kind of thing? So again, Kayamo they expect say people know really to be how things work. In the ride on top people ignorance to make that kind of statement. And the reason why this thing important, we say another thing we I don't see where they fly around. We say uh, they don't really circulate one statement from whether that two thousand and three. We be saying that from um, U.S. U.S. consulates in Lagos, and then they use them um, say my evidence. Say Tinubu not do anything because the the document talks say um, uh, we we have seen we have found no records of criminal conviction for this person. But again, now clever by the half because first of all, no be U.S. embassy the clear person. Now the U.S. court system, now the relevant court you go meet first of all. Secondly, criminal conviction now a very specific thing, right? If uh, you don't do this thing, you don't do settlement with the US, then, then seize part of the money, then collect them, you don't go, and no prosecute you criminally. Obviously, criminal uh, uh, conviction, no good day. But record day, the record still they say you do this thing. So if person goes search specifically for criminal conviction, then no go find them. So now we seen those people go do that time, then go send requests, say, say criminal conviction day, and then obviously the answer will come back, say no, criminal conviction, no deal. But not clever by the half, because if they really want to find out, say, change this person, do something, nobody waiting and go ask for that. They go ask for the full case files and case records. Say, change this person, they involved with heroin trafficking that time. And the records they there. So again, I don't really understand why um, they, they try play fast and loose with this kind of matter, because nobody say now waiting person interprets. Or something. These things they written very, very clear, very plain, black and white inside these documents. Any Nigerian will open these documents, read them. The doubts nobody it will clear you that. And what I go advise people be say, not even believe it, waiting at the talk. No believe waiting Kiamu they talk. No believe waiting anybody they talk. No believe waiting your friend they talk. Find that documents, read them yourself. You go clear your doubt. Not just English, you know hard. Read them. All right, so Oga Mofi, you could like quickly react to waiting um, when they talk, especially as you know the hamper on the document. See, every the document and evidence, see, this is true, see, true, true. It comes from a US court waiting for inside Illinois. You won't react to waiting when they talk. Yes, you see, some of the things went in the talk. Almost they align with some of the things went. But since in, as in the talk, I refer to address, to address Keyamo. Me, I see the matter beyond. Kiyamo. Kiyamo is a spokesperson uh, to the uh, Progressive uh, uh, Congress's uh, Campaign Council. That is fine. But this issue is just beyond Kiyamo. Kiyamo may have spoken on the issue, maybe done expressing opinions on the issue, make citations to legal positions. and that. But beyond that, this document, like some of those things they talk about, some of those allegations, now the perspective of the prosecutor. I, we, so that, as they say, we need to really understand. This is one of the perspective. For instance, I'm the prosecutor. In, in my, in my uh, write-up, I say, this man is alleged to have stolen Lecky. This man is alleged to have poured water in the hole of mm. Lecky. This, 
That is the position of the yeah, prosecutor. But Ogabofi, eh, if the, not the position, the position of the, of the prosecutor, the no, just make I explain. Mm. If not the position of prosecutor, and I feel say that thing where prosecutor talk mm. will indict my name mm. at the long run, mm. I get the right to talk. Say no, prosecutor, I won't pursue this matter further. I won't make you clear my name. Say that's mm. where they put my name. Say I do, I no do am. Mm. So why you got no pursue the matter further? So make sure say you clear your name from this kind of thing from happening. Be before that, first of all, what they talk about because the say when they leave the ministry, we're talking about the American government. American government no go joke with issues of drugs. That, that the same thing I see one repeat. After that, this, this issue, first of all, because this issue now come to be a fresh matter. Make I also establish them again. Say, this matter not be fresh matter. Of course. This matter don't happen since early, as far back as 2003. 2001. 19, uh, 1993. 1990. Uh, as, uh, from 1993 to now, it's how many years? This matter don't happen, don't pass before the same uh, Asiwaju contest for the uh, governorship of Lagos State. Senators, First of all, even yeah. to, uh, for the senatorial position. Mm. Mm. After that, the fact, before the man became the governor of Lagos State, this same matter come up again. That time it was even within his own party. People, they just feel concerned. Ah, but we're not going to risk our ticket. No political party will not risk ticket now. But you know, if I go ask one question, part of the document, if you look at where, mm. um, they write something where they're very, very significant. Mm. They say Tinibu was an employee treasurer when they say they earned like $2,500 back then. Mm. How come he get like 10 accounts in three different banks with over I, 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 I did I happy. That, that is I did happy say you even bring up this point because I, along the line, they even contact Mobile. Say, who be this guy? Yes. Mobile responded. I said, this guy. Now our staff and they not get criminal records okay. with us. He's here with us. So, but he's, those he's doing banks fine. now, those ten bank accounts, Do, those value, ten bank accounts. Bank. Now the bank account when they sue. So, which so money you remember saying that the proceeds of the bank account be the content, be the bone of content. Of course, now the bank accounts and the proceeds. So now the issue is the 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 U.S. government said. These accounts, the money went there inside. Our investigator would not contact mobile. Mm. We don't make findings. We won't know how you take in this money. I think that was the basis. So was it cleared? If they stated, say okay. this now, how you make the money? If if the U.S. government, if the U.S. government, I'd say they underrate the U.S. government. If the U.S. government along the line find out anything otherwise, anything other than what they have said so far, they not go take. I think. I think. I think the man they visit. I think the man they visit the US after that. They don't bring reports. and not be there. No, you say no, no. Now the lot. Now the lot. The company where he talks say he get some bonuses from. Say Moby. But David Moby was contact. Moby confirmed. So apart from that, US. No, say this man they come into US in and out after them. Okay. US will not tolerate that. We leave this the same talk to Mr. Undey. Mr. Undey. This very word, it can still be part of what you still release from your own investigative journalism. Now, what do you go react to this very accounts, 10 different accounts with three banks? Okay. And by then, in the end, just $2,500. So, I can't come because this is a typical perspective to run. No, we here. Again, with, with I can talk, we say make people read the documents. No believe waiting at the talk, don't believe waiting anybody they talk. Just read the documents because waiting the inside them is very clear, black and white. The investigating officer will investigate the case. In the talk, say we don't know how you made this money. Now lie with that. Waiting the talk, we say there is probable cause to believe that this is the proceeds of narcotics trafficking. This is the proceeds of heroin sales. Now waiting the day inside the documents. US government don't talk say they no no. Now, but like then you, sorry. So again, if you read the document, yeah, yes, if you want to talk about the document, right so I don't understand how people go go again, come yes. TV, go come all this place, go come the light, say, oh, uh, uh, it's tax, Mister Ode. Uh, we don't know. No, not be waiting the document talk with that. Mister Ode, can very clearly say, Has anybody said that there yeah. is probable cause to believe that this is okay. the proceeds of narcotics trafficking. Okay. Can't even analyze how the money take enter the accounts. All these things, they inside the documents. Mr. Odey, if I take you up for paragraph 38 of the document, that will be like an affidavit, kind of. You talk about tax deduction. Now, now we look based on that because Festus Ama on this very part, he said, Pinnable was not sued or indicted on any charges. 
charges, he call them tax deduction, not money laundry from any kind of drug proceed. He just call them a mere document. So what do you go talk yeah. about that one? He said a yeah. tax deduction. So make him, make him or anybody else we talk that he may they answer this question. If this problem not tax, that four hundred and sixty thousand dollars where US sees from Tinubu, not tax, right? Wait, how much money Tinubu make for that period? We say he go owe four hundred and sixty thousand dollars, almost half a million dollars in just tax. How much money was he making? Because in the same documents, they talk say by his own admission, in talk say in total monthly income that two thousand four hundred dollars, and he no get any other source of income. So what did in the do that period? We say in go the end millions of dollars. We say the tax will come be four hundred and sixty thousand dollars. Which which business in the do? Which income generating activity in they involved in? May they answer that question? Because this thing not be magic. If you say at the owe four hundred thousand four hundred and sixty thousand dollars uh, for tax, it means say I don't uh, uh, what I don't make. It passed that four hundred and sixty k by like five six times. Right? Now you make I they owe $460,000 for just tax. So if I they owe this money for tax, which work I they do? Maybe say I they owe $460,000 cash. Maybe say my monthly take home pay at just $2,400, my annual take home pay at $28,800. And then on top of that one, on top of that one, after I don't settle this case, they don't seize this money from me. Less than 10 days after I, I don't speak to the, the investigating agent on phone, I come to buy a house, $147,000. If you must later buy another house, $470,000. Where, where do you see all this kind of money? My, my stated income, like what I talk, you say my only income, that's $2,400 a month. And they spend millions. All right, they all right. Buy, thank you, thank you, David. You don't, you don't, you don't establish your question. Which work I did do? You don't establish your question. Make let me start. Uh, Murphy react to the question. So you go feel help us break down onto how the money used come up like this. So you explain. See, based on say the work way be say say the work. Mm. The salary is supposed to be just about two thousand five hundred uh, four hundred dollars. How come it be say get all this money we be say plus one used by property plus one within seeds. <laughs> and then why you know come out coin? Why you never come out coin clear yourself? Talk say, oh, this now the way I've been used make my money. Which one I see for paper? Not be too, so much of truth. Th thank you very much. Uh, make we not forget the uh, the man in question, Ashiwaju himself, now accountant, mm. a financial consultant. And, I, and I, I'm not sure he get any law when stop him from carrying out his professional activities outside mobile or wherever in the work at any point in time. Uh, but one of the places where you say the in being get affiliation. Hold on now. When you Don't ask me a question, just allow me now. Oh, just okay. allow me. Right, you know, okay. where you allow him, okay. allow me like that. All right. <laughs> you know. Well, so talk. when a man, when the accountant, when they also render services to people, make I deviate. Yesterday, a friend of mine was telling me, a lawyer friend of mine was telling me about a client. When would they discuss this same issue? A client office, when the US. When render financial services to people, money was paid into his account. That same money don't remit. The money to Nigeria to where he was supposed to. Just after there was a case from the U.S. government against his account, and forfeiture was made for a money that has been paid out. Forfeiture was made. Two lawyers went to court, but forfeiture was made. Mm. That is just one of the insights. When we discuss issues like this, we need to. Sometimes we like to listen to the side of sentiments. It's easy to listen to the side of sentiments. It makes sense. It's lead to a lot of people, but that. It's not actually the truth. Even in, on this matter, when we talk, U.S. government said, U.S. government said, the prosecutor said, that is not the position of the court. I give you an instance. In Nigeria here, make I give you an instance. And Nandekano is in court with federal government. Federal government has their own side of the story. That is the government side. But that is not the position of the law. That is why they keep going to court, moving from one court to the other court, because they are relying on the court's judgment, not the judgment of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, and not the one from Kanos and his lawyers. So in this case, I'm looking at the law. I like the question where they ask me, why he never challenged? It's as, it's as good as asking me, why would the American government want to just end at that, just take a token from 
one out of 10 accounts, if really there are found reasons to go beyond that, let's be factual. American government not be one to go list, be one, not be one African small government. <laughs> American <laughs> government, why they not go, go beyond that? If yeah, there are reasons, if there are evidences to go beyond. But and but this okay, man, it, it, and, and, and let, let me also it, bring in this. You know, say, like I was saying before, this now, man. Now, now, you know, say most time, I mean, most Nigerians, mm. they really want to hear and talk. I can also we'll come back to that one. Mm. But first of all, maybe we open our phone lines because our people said that they each to ask questions to mm. Mr. Odei and also you, Comrade Murphy. Money so the time don't reach when it be say, we open our phone lines for you to feel calling and also to send us messages via WhatsApp, our YouTube page. Just go there, go drop your message. For the time we get now, we'll go try to just uh, put them together to ask our guests the way they ask. Um, Comrade Murphy, you be the talk something. I go like me, you land that your thought. Yes. So, American government not be the government when no go this is all with anything. When they, and as, as they repeat them, draw case, not serious case for U.S., not the way, case where American government will get against you, mm. decide to look into your 10 different bank accounts mm. and take a peanut and say you should go with it. And they are saying, allow you. At the same and they are saying, allow you. Individual, you also get the and, right to clear your name. So why your organ not work towards clearing your name? Let me the question. We'll get one do, call. Do you understand? We'll, I, I, they understand. Yeah, but we we'll take this call. We'll, we'll come back. We'll come back to um, uh. Richard, Richard, good morning. Yeah, yeah. Richard. Now, good morning. Yeah, welcome. Good morning, good. welcome. I've been all there. Yeah, good morning, Richard. Welcome. Go uh, shout. Mr. Shout. Tuko, you ask a question. Now, that question, the question is not answered to, to you. You ask a question, say, why you, where the US, uh, US have a government in all provincial say, to nobody like this since 1993? Why now? And before that, to nobody have been going to America. So to know what the South America go in and out, in and out, they never ask him one to say, why are you coming? We are adapted for this for this thing. All right, Richard, we don't get your question. Maybe we just take another. Miriam, I beg, everybody get 30 seconds because we want to Okay, good morning, uh, Mr. Honde. Good morning, uh, our guest in the studio. Good morning. Back to the matter. Please, if I'm not supposed to question anybody who has any questionable character, because drug deals is not a fair deal or it's not something to play with. Then number two, the lawyer has come out to deny your principal. Please, what is this genuine source of income? All right. Because with the record we are seeing. All right, Mira, thank you. We get another call. Again. We'll just take all of them together. Reduce the volume on your TV. Oh, sorry. I can beg if you call, reduce the volume on your TV so that I'm going to talk. I go on make Oga Unde respond to this very talk. But, well, if like I said, we get one Simon before we come back to you, Oga Unde. Simon, welcome. Uh, hello, good morning. Good morning. Uh, uh, this man who they answer this question, when we the, what did they ask him? The man is supposed to come out and defend himself. But they said they don't, don't even say to come, you know, they, they know they made the man come out and they tell us this thing where they don't know the truth. Why did they corner everything up and down? Let that man answer us clear so that we go understand. Okay, thank you. Right, well, thank Simon. you so much, uh, uh, Mr. Odey. Mr. Odey, you, you, you still there with us? Yes. Good. Yes. Now, one question when I was still stay, is still there related to what which I'll be asked. Now, 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 say, uh, why, why it be say Tinubu get um drug case for America and he still contest the position of, of a senator for the third republic as a then a bit that time they never look into the matter or not? Why then he still con contest as a senator? Well, so. Not the only thing they do that kind of thing for Nigeria, to be fair. If you recall, um, even the uh, former Delta State Governor James Ibori, before he come Nigeria, come contest for governorship, he don't go prison for UK for theft. Same thing, the current um, Speaker of House of Reps, Femi Bajabia Mila, he don't get criminal case for US before. We, we say, as a lawyer, he thief in client money, they call him uh, commingling. And he was disbarred from practicing law in the US. 
then still he still come Nigeria, come contest for political position, still get that. Uh, Deputy Senate President Ovi Omoagege, in he, he, he also get criminal case for him past too. Current Ogun State Governor Dakwa Biodun, an ex-convict. So no be no be only single they run this kind of package for Nigerian politics. They get plenty of people with there for leadership positions for Nigeria, will be criminals. Some of them, they don't go to prison. Some of them, they don't settle their case, waiting to settle in case one kind. Some of them, they get conviction. Some of them, they get indictment. Some of them, they wangle their way one kind. So, not the only thing where they do that kind of thing for Nigeria. Uh, all right. So, the so reason, is, what do you the, talk the reason, strong, strong the reason we... Uh, I got sorry, this is so they talk now, strong, strong allegations. But one question we want to ask you be say, when would they talk about a criminal offense consigned drug? Even in America and any part of the world, they're not supposed to be the same, the same kind of indictment, the same kind of punishment in America or anywhere in Nigeria, everywhere, not supposed to affect you. But before you go answer, maybe we we'll take one call from Fred. Oh, Fred. Fred, I beg. Sorry. Just try to call us. But I'd be like, say, we get another call again. Emmanuel, good morning. You did there? Yeah, good morning. Good morning, Mande. Just 30 seconds, sharply talk. Okay, yeah, because this issue, uh, IRS and they like uh, NFIU for Nigeria, mm. they get the way money going to your account, they call a suspicious lodgement, mm. then they will call a lot of authorities. Okay, this first thing, so they put money for this account, so they could not check them out. Because you see, your job description, take your, you go show your salary, your pay slip. And if money went past your income, enter, they will come after you, and they will do the investigation. Mm. Okay, now if... I work out for my money, say, I, I go do outside consultancy job where they give me bonus. That one on my sweat. The American government won't co collect that money. I go fight them because of my money. And I go show proof, say, this money, so I work out. And say, I take get them. You cannot take my money while I work Thank with my you. sweat. Unless they, for, the person of power not to even Thank fight you. the money, that means on that one day, then. That's, that's Thank what I'm you. Thank you. Well, so, again, they, if you respond to some of the questions, then. Right. So um, you were asking previously that um, uh, does do, do convictions in other jurisdictions apply in Nigeria? I, yes. I don't talk to lawyer on top of this matter. The lawyer. Oh yes. So I apologize. Oh, so sorry, sorry, okay. We because would I, like to know about this one yes. to know whether it's supposed to be applicable, so that mm. we're not going to say that they commit for there when they come here they forget things so it's supposed to be applicable for here. So I would like to know from Okogan Day, but. Uh, well, we'll just hope say so, you join so, us okay, back, again. back to the matter. People they ask, say, now him, your are organizing the contest for presidency of Nigeria. Now you won't rule So, it is very important to make Nigerians... I think I will quickly like to chip, to chip in because hmm. Nigeria is a sovereign nation. If you commit crime of offense for U.S. or any other country for that matter, Nigeria don't go free try you. Look at, um, uh, uh, what was his name? Abakiari, for instance, mm -hmm. has a case. And even the other guy, there's this other guy today that, that um, wouldn't be his name. So if the U.S. government formally make... I was popping my matter. If the U.S. government formally make a complaint, there is always an alliance between government to government. Then the other government can make official arrangements and package whoever that is involved mm -hmm. to go and face... Go extra die the person. You okay. understand. He, my brother made reference to Ibori case. At the end of the thank God the reward um Ribad, the former EFC chairman mm -hmm. did a very fantastic job then. Worked with both German, uh, UK, and so many other European governments, gathered findings, gathered evidence, and at the end of the day, what happened? Ibori, okay, so, Ibori so, so, was okay, jailed. This one, a presidential was jailed. So, those so are you cases. know that was they tried to connect them to this very one. So, and, and they tried to say, make we not drag so much sentiment into mm. this. You don't always ask me why my principal not challenge the American government. I think that is at his discretion okay. to, to so, do. So, Shapali, make we uh, get back to David. David, I don't know whether you did there. One question yeah. waiting in my mouth now say, why it be say this matter now? It be like saying that the streets of Nigeria would be pursuing. Because I know don't come out, come talk, say, then no go fit investigator, and they need the investigator. Now, you, now people where business and political parties where few say what they need do, they no like and then go use their hands too. So why if say somebody like you, and we not say they support a particular political uh, party candidate, why you know fit through the candidates where they support in party sue this matter instead of you know for us to push them on the streets of Nigeria? 
So I I know they speak for for any candidates for from any party. Um, I don't know what's in the plan, but what I know for a fact, we say independence legal action, they actually happen. This thing is actually being challenged. Okay. Right now, I speak. Um, so you didn't day for public domain. Maybe before the end of today, you could not enter the new cycle. So you could see what they talk about because there'll be everything then they loud. But uh, as for when, whether other political parties or Labour Party or PDP or whoever they, they pursue this matter legally or with INEC, I don't know. I know if you speak for them. I know they inside campaign matter. I'd be independent journalist. But I know for a fact, say, you get at least one lawyer for Abuja where they pursue this matter independently. Before the end of this week, latest, you go see. Mr. Ande, you, you be the talk something. I would like me you land that very word on crime for outside and inside. And also, we just like chip this one in. I may get constitutional rights to pursue case like this. So, um, technically, if they're, they're based on, say, person get legal trouble outside Nigeria, I may not supposed to get out inside. Technically speaking, um, if you don't commit, what you commit inside Nigerian jurisdiction, Technically, no concern, I know. But, but, um, it still get arguments because, um, I know still fit talk say, even though you know commit, waiting you commit on to, uh, inside Nigerian jurisdiction, mm. but say, um, you get character issues or you get character problems. So, if your matter include uh, uh, things say like, like theft or fraud. Drug trafficking, money laundering, anything where we say your in, your integrity, your credibility, they in question. You get INEC regulation where we say they fee user disqualify you from the race. It they very rare for them to use that thing. I know they like to use that power because obviously it's not very subjective. Mm. Power. They know they like to use that, mm. but it they it they in existence. Oh, oh, all right, user. thank you, David. Um, Ogamo, if you could no, like to react to this, well, lawyer well. for Nigeria, uh, you agree with what David talk? that kind of default, and get that kind of power? First of all, would they have INEC with a lot of issues where not primarily be their work? INEC not be an uh, uh, investigative uh, agency of government. INEC not be crime-fighting agency of government. We get the police, we get the EFC, we get the ICPC, we get the DSS, we get all of them to do their job. Like in this particular case now, like the opposition parties, have a better opportunity now to take up this case legally. If you take up this case legally, then the courts can now compel INEC. If you look at most of the actions INEC have taken in the history of INEC in Nigeria, it's always a directive from courts. Courts will disqualify a candidate first, then write to INEC. Then INEC will claim. Yes, thank, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Plenty to thank you. Your yeah. The time may really restrain us. I got for you not like the to work more all. about your... Mm. Your boss, but mm. next time we go really deep, no deep problem. to know about the plenty controversy with the around the man. Tinebu. No plenty problem. controversy. No, we'll go around talk about that. Next time we we'll talk about bring you again back. All right, David. Thank you so much, David Hunde. Yes, thank if you. you um, Enter inside this matter. We appreciate you. We hope so next time when we call you, you can also answer us and put them out for talk. Thank you, David. And Oga uh, Mofia Baduri, thank, thank you, you so very much. Thank you All right, country people, Oga Waka enter inside our next segment. Now, we'll be saying Frank Pagwa don't sit down to tell us why he be said, Don't let on they come down.